Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I'm taking a brief look at the new Ubuntu uh, Xenial. Uh, let's see, it's the Xenial Zerus. Uh, this is an alpha release, so it is expected to be buggy. Uh, it's not for anyone needing a stable system or anyone who's not comfortable running into occasional even frequent breakage but um, if you want to take a look at it you can download it uh, again just don't install it on your daily uh, as your daily uh, driver because it is expected to be buggy it's an alpha release it's not even up to beta yet so uh, let's take a look now this is the welcome screen and one thing I noticed, um, I tried to install some PPAs to grab some software that I usually use and it's not playing well with any of the PPAs that I tried to install. So evidently this alpha version is intended to run just um, approved software, let's say. And I can understand that because it makes it awfully hard to debug if the system is full of uh, third-party software. So uh, I wasn't able to install really uh, anything from an external PPA. I did install uh, Kazam uh, to go with GUVC View, which was already installed. Um, Features, modded and full featured, pre-configured yet flexible, built-in security. We've got Firefox, Thunderbird, LibreOffice, Rhythmbox, Shotwell, and VLC. Steam is installed. So looks like uh, has the usual feature set. Getting started, you can... Uh, now it says an internet connection is required. I've already installed the drivers that I needed. Uh, so let's go back to getting started. You got software updates, language and input, additional tasks, backup firewall and users. So it's got a nice um, configuration, kind of a hand holding, kind of walk you through the setup. Uh, shows you some customization of the interface, the control center. And then, of course, it brings you to the Ubuntu Mate community, social networks. And keyboard shortcuts. Uh, let's see, chat room. IRC in hex chat and of course you can donate uh, let's take a look at the software accessories the usuals nothing unusual plank is installed graphics uh, image magic shot well Firefox, Thunderbird, Pigeon, LibreOffice. I installed Kazam. Everything else was installed. Uh, GW package installer, system monitor, terminal. And let's see universal access and utilities there's one utility canty word installer the usual places and system uh, let's see nvidia i pulled that in from the driver manager 352.63 and Let's see, preferences, the usual. And there's the control center, typical Mate control center. So 
software and updates it's 1604 this is where I pulled in the drivers I'm using the 35263 and the micro code from uh, Intel now you see these PPAs there's launch pad for OBS studio not going well it is not uh, it's def it's faulting out when I try to update using any of these that I've installed and I'll show you what happens when I try to update You see everything faulting out. And then it gives you an explanation. So all 404s, evidently it's not connecting to any of these PPAs that I installed. So I assume it's with Ubuntu Mate since it's not just one PPA, it's basically every PPA that I installed. So that is it for the uh, brief look at Ubuntu Mate 16.04. This is the alpha version. If you install it, expect bugs, but you can take a look at it. I just wouldn't install anything critical on it. And that's it for this video, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.